Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into some fascinating news from the Dinar Guru Deep Woods about potential signs that Iraq may be preparing for a long-awaited revaluation of their currency, the Iraqi Dinar. As many of you know, economic reforms and the possibility of reinstating the Iraqi Dinar to its former glory have been hotly debated topics in Dinar investor communities for years. Deep Woods's latest update touches on a few key areas that may hint at the requirement for a new dinar rate. Let's break it down. One observation from Deep Woods is that we aren't seeing as many articles lately about the need for the Iraqi government to pay salaries and government worker wages. For years, this was a constant issue plaguing the Iraqi dinarati. The government struggled to pay its employees due to low oil revenues and budget deficits. The fact that we aren't hearing as much about this lately could potentially be a positive sign that the government has its financial house more in order. Of course, it's just an observation, but still noteworthy. Another area Deepwoods highlights is the absence of new announcements about the start of contracts and costs associated with them. He specifically mentions Prime Minister Sudani speaking about 400 billion in new agreements. To put that 400 billion figure into context, if we convert it to Iraqi dinars at the current rate, it equates to a staggering 292 trillion Iraqi dinars. Deepwoods questions whether Iraq has ever had that much currency printed and in circulation. This leads him to ponder whether these major new contracts and expenditures could be dependent on the dinar receiving a new, higher valuation in order to be affordable. It's certainly an interesting theory to consider. The third piece of Deepwoods's update focuses on the fact that Iraq's constitution requires them to implement the UN's Humanitarian Criteria List, or HCL. This aims to provide a better standard of living for Iraqi citizens. However, as Deepwoods notes, we still haven't seen much actually put into action on this front by the Iraqi government. He speculates that perhaps they are keeping the HCL requirements secret for now, as implementing them could also necessitate a stronger dinar value. So when you combine the lack of salary issues, the monumental scale of new contracts, and the constitutional HCL requirements, it does beg the question. Could Iraq be keeping a revaluation plan under wraps as the solution to afford all of these things? As Deepwood says, he has no doubt that a significant dinar revaluation would be required and is likely being planned behind the scenes by Sudanese government. Admittedly, it's an exciting possibility for dinar investors who have waited years for this moment. Those are just my thoughts after breaking down Deepwood's latest update. As always, I'll leave it up to you to digest this information and come to your own conclusions. The potential for a revaluation does seem plausible based on these points, but only time will tell what Iraq's true plans are. Make sure to subscribe for more frequent updates as this situation develops. I'll also include links to Deepwoods's full update and other resources in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.